everyone, how are you today? Welcome to Old Slovenian Farm and this mod review of the new Fortrit. I think I'm saying that right. Fortrit. Fortrit? Um, Harvester Pack. In the Mod Hub, today on the 23rd of March, we have the Fortrit E516 Harvester Pack. It contains the Fortrit E516 through 517. The Forcerit T936, the Forcerit E536, the Clado NA670, and the Clado FKA602. This is a mod by AAA Modding, and a pretty neat little pack. I do have to say so myself. Um, would be kind of a neat little harvester to play this map if that ever um, turned your tractor. Um, let's look at Forcerit a little bit. Forcerit was a brand. Uh, an East German brand, so you know we're going back a while, of tractors, combine harvesters, and other agricultural machines. Forstrit was taken over by Case IH in um, 1997, so quite, quite a while ago when you referred to Case, Case International Harvester in 1997. Um, the 516 combine, from what I understand, was produced in 1977 at the first time, and at that time was one of the most powerful combine harvesters on the world market. So, pretty interesting uh, little history there. Um, you do have some options on this um, harvester um, as far as uh, combines, headers, and even a header trailer with this pack. So let's take a look at them in the store. You go into harvesters, you have the E516 harvester right here. It costs you 43550 Has a um, horsepower of 228 horsepower, 300 uh, gal or, um, liter fuel tank, 13 miles per gallon on the road, so it is a slow puppy. Um, kind of like the Massey Ferguson here, um, about the same speed. Uh, has a 4,500 liter um, hopper grain capacity in your hopper of the combine and it can harvest you know what we would expect it to harvest wheat barley canola sunflowers soybeans and corn okay when you go in here you have some options you have three options for main color you have a blue kind of a tan and uh, like an olive green sort of sort of color um, you also have wheel setups you have the standard the trailborg the l31 and the hw80 Okay, you have rim color choices too, red, yellow, and white, and you have design choices, which um, between the standard and the E516 brown, I'm still trying to see the difference. The E517 green is, uh, you, can, you can certainly tell that design. Okay, so let's look at them first. This would be the standard uh, E516 with the, just the, the colors of blue and the... Um, red rims um, it, it it looks pretty cool this is a pretty cool harvester I, I like the detail of it I like um, I kind of looked online at videos and um, images and it's very very similar um, you know without going into great detail on the workings of the combine but uh, you know you got a fire extinguisher here you got a little ladder coming up to the back um, fuel tank here this must be a sight gauge a hose to tell um, how much fuel you have. It does have a trailer hitch, so you can pull the trailer, um, header, header trailer with it. This is set up in straw swath mode, and I'll demonstrate that after a little while, but you can spread the, uh, the straw out, and we'll, do, we'll, like I said, we'll go through that here in just a little bit. Um, you know, auger, looks pretty cool we're gonna do that here in a little while as well um, you know it's a neat combine it, it really is a neat combine um, I like it I like it a lot I think uh, for certain maps this combine would um, would fit right in um, you know see through to the engine compartment here all the pulleys you know grain elevators are coming down here as well um, neat, neat combine you got some Hoses in the front, you've got some mirrors with lights, beacon on top, another fire extinguisher there. I don't know, maybe it was fire prone. I don't know. But then again, all combines, in a sense, in certain conditions, are fire prone. Um, hook up the header. You can see the PTO shaft hooks in. 
Um, yeah, just a, a nice little detail to a lot of the things. Um, you know, it does get a little bit uh, blurry when you go real in close, but that's okay. Um, on the inside, not too shabby. Uh, good view, lots of glass in here, would certainly keep you uh, nice and warm in the summertime. It probably has air conditioning though, maybe. Yeah, it kind of looks like it would have air conditioning. Well, maybe not back in 1977, but I don't know. Apparently you have to carry tools with you to keep it running. So you do have your tool box, tool, <laughs> selection of tools down there with a pair of gloves to keep you going. Seat looks cool. You have a side console here with all your um, levers and and uh, switches or whatever so yeah you can't see the hopper tank though you know so you wouldn't really know how full your hopper is by looking through the back but that's okay that's okay first aid kit must be right there not too shabby so like I said that's the standard E516 Fortrit um, this is the next one the E516 Fortrit Brown is it let's go back and take a look the um, yeah, E516 Brown. Um, when you go look at the difference, I, you know, I know the decal. The decal looks a little different up here compared to that one. Um, this has E516 on the back here. So does this. Um, so I don't really know what the difference is. The E517 Green, you can see the difference. The decal is much different. It was the um, the model above this one, um, so that you can see the difference. You certainly can. Um, if we went into this one, it's the exact same combine. Um, you know, you have a little bit different interior. Oh, yeah, you do have a lot of different interior. Okay, look at that. You got, uh, yeah, it is much different up here. Um, you still have your tools and your gloves. Uh, yeah, different interior in this one. You'd have, I don't know if that is a, um, opens a window or what that lever does. I don't know. But yeah, so a little bit different in here compared to the other ones. Um, yeah, not too bad. Pretty nice. Well, let's go jump into this one. I'm, I'm, now, I'm, now I'm curious. Well, that's the same as the, uh, well, maybe not. No? That's different too. Huh, okay. Yeah, going back into the first one. Sorry about that. Now I'm just kind of playing, I'm kind of looking at myself here. Yeah, it is a little different. It is a little different on the inside. Oh, that thing's there, but a little bit different. Okay, there's some difference on the interior there. Um, the outside, I guess, I really can't see a big difference on the outside. But that's pretty, that's the combine. That's the combine, and like I said, we will demonstrate that in just a little bit. Pretty snazzy. Now, when you go into headers, it gets a little complicated because you have basically three of them. You have the Forstrit E536, you have the Clotto Focke 602, and the Clotto NA670. What this is, is this would be your straight header. This would be for your, your grains, your... Uh, wheat, barley, canola, and soybeans. This would be for sunflowers and corn, but the Clotto NA670 is a specifically a sunflower header. Okay, this is a uh, 6.7 meter header. The corn header is 4.6, and the sunflower header is 6.7. Okay, not bad prices, 11,045, 11,730. 11,615. So, and as well, we have options when we go into headers. So the first thing, let's take a look at the Forestrit E536. This would be your straight header. Uh, you have three main color, the three main colors with a combine as well. Design, you have standard, you have without a case, tip change, change decals, and tip and decals change. Okay, so we'll go through those. Design color, you have choices on design color as well, and I'll explain that. So when we go here, this is the standard one, the standard header in the uh, blue color with the, um, well, what would be the standard one? Blue and blue. So your main color and your design color is both blue. What that is, is your main color would be 
the outside of the header, the reel here, um, everything else. The design color would be basically the auger. Okay, it's a pretty cool auger. I like how they have the uh, wear points on the tips here. You know the um, sickles, the sickle sections. They all look all rusted out. You know the auger has all the wear points where the wheat is going around. So I like that. That's a lot of detail on the header. The header is pretty cool. The without case change would be right here on the end. You see this? You have your um, your your chain here. Okay, there's no case there. So here's the standard with the case. If you go to without the case, that case disappears right here. Okay, your tip change is these. Uh, you know, like a snout or a tip would be right here. You'd have this wire wire um, tip. Here you have what would be a um, the standard tip. So that would be your tip. Decal change, from what I understand, um, only moves the decal from like right here to right down here is all that I can see. So if we went over to a couple headers that I have over here, see the decal has moved from here or from here, it is here to here. But that's all that I can see. Um, this one has the green color uh, and the red color design. So that would be that. This has blue color with the green color design. And you can see the difference in tips. So that's the only thing I can see with the, with the decal is um, that little change from here to here. Okay. But yeah. Other than that, I mean, a really cool header. Um, I, I really like it. I, I like the header a lot. I like the combine a lot. I think on certain maps, it is going to look outstanding. Okay, so that's the straight header. Let's go in and look at the um, what I would call the corn header. The only difference is you have just change in colors. You have yellow, orange, kind of a tannish, and a blue color. Okay. And that is over here, right here. So this would basically be a one, two, three, four, five, six, a six row corn header. So you're gonna do six rows of corn at a time. It's it's just kind of, you know, what the other corn headers we expect. Um, Clotto FKA, I think I said Flocka the other day. I don't know why I said that. Clotto FKA 602 there. Um, you do have the PTO shaft hooking up as well. Looks like you would have a little jack stand there on it. Go to the other side. PTO on this side as well. So yeah. You know, pretty cool. Pretty cool corn header. So you have that option of using this combine and having you know the, the manufacturer's header on there, which is pretty cool. Okay, the sunflower header is really unique. Um, I've only combined sunflowers once in my life about almost 20 years ago, so I don't remember what the header was like then but um, if you go into the store here it is the Clotto NA670 this has the same width as a straight header so you're getting 6.7 meters I mean you're getting a pretty good uh, chunk out there you can change the main color to the three colors as well you have designs with Kate without case change decals and standard your design color can also change to four different color options okay so here you have the standard color of um, blue with the design color yellow. Um, I don't think I have any tip changes here or decal. Maybe I should buy one of the tip change and see what the difference is. But I'll buy one here and we'll put it on the ground so we can walk around. Let's just do, uh, let's do that without case change. Oh, I guess you can't change decal without case. I thought it was a tip. My bad. So you can't. It's with case, without case, decal, case and decals. Okay. So it should come up. Where did it go? Where did my header go? Here it is. Okay. So this one I did with. Um, what did I do that one with? Why well, I can't remember. Without case. So that's just going to be on the end here. There is no case here on the end. But here you can see the the sunflower header better. Um, Pretty cool how the sunflower header works. You know, the header is going to come in between, the, the head of the sunflower is going to come in between the slot, uh, 
and the auger will take it up. Um, it's kind of got a different reel. You know, this is more of got like a, a chicken wire reel sort of thing, whereas in the straight headers kind of have a, a finger reel. So these would be, you know, fingers here. We call it a finger reel. So that's a little different. Um, you know, I would assume that there has to be a cutting bar. You know, usually with a corn header, you have a cutting bar in between each um, snout. But they don't show that on here because there would have to be a way to cut the cut the um, the uh, sunflower off the head. See, on a snout underneath right here, there's a cutting bar. So when the uh, corn stalk goes through there, it would cut, you know, cut the stalk of the corn. So there's got to be something like that. But that's that. Um, you know, hey, pretty cool. I like this header. It's probably my favorite. Um detail on it is great with the rust the paint missing you know without the case it's kind of cool you get to, you get to see the chain here um, pretty snazzy you have a grate in the back that would be common on a sunflower header um, could even find them on a corn header as well sometimes you'll see um, extensions on the side for corn and sunflowers just because they are so tall you don't want them you don't want them falling off the edge but yeah Pretty neat, pretty pretty nice header. I, I like that a lot. Um, I don't think I've ever played this game and bought the um, the specialized um, corn header. Okay, finally we have the header trailer, which is basically what it is—a header trailer. Um, it does hook up to the combine because the combine has a hitch. It's a swivel front hitch. So it might be a little difficult for some people to drive. You basically set the combine on there, let it off, and uh, it'll stay on there. It actually works pretty good, and you can pick it up and take it off. It doesn't get stuck. It doesn't, um, you know, get attached to the header trailer. So that's pretty cool. Um, it looks like you do have your blocks here that are uh, hanging there. So when you did disconnect the trailer, the uh, wheel chucks, wheel chocks will um, go into place and hold the trailer there for you. If you go into the store, it is under header trailers. You will find it right here. It does cost you $41.30. Um, there are options with this as well. You can change the color to the three standard colors in this pack. As well as rim color, you have some options there. This is just the blue on the red. So that's pretty much it. We did the combine. We did all the headers. Now let's just go try it out. And I got to show you the uh, the difference between the uh, swath path, the sw making the straw swath, and the straw spreaders. So let's go do that right now. Okay. Here we are up at this uh, field. Well, let's just do a little combine. We got the, uh, this is standard 516. Let's just show you the uh, unloading arm. It does um, come like that. Pretty neat how that works. You look at the support cables there. Um, you might want to have to check up with certain tippers. I know like these smaller combines with big tipper trailers, they won't unload into them. So that would be something to check out. Now, if we go back here, right now it's, this is how you would buy it. It is set up to make a straw swath. If you hit L1 and the right, um, air, the right on the directional button, you get this, like an add-on. So that would be the straw spreader, which is going to spread the uh, straw out. Okay, so it's just L1 and right on the D-pad. There you go, off and on. There are no options to that thing, of course. Um, that's going to be whatever. It is what it is, so to speak. Okay? Now, you have nothing to unfold. So there is no hopper to unfold. You can see the hopper is right up in there. You'll see it start to fill up when we get going. So basically, it's just, I'll put the pipe back, the unloading auger back in. So you just start the combine. That's all you got to do. And you go. And the grain will fill up into the hopper. Pretty cool. You do have some options on the header. You can um, raise it by L1 and the right mushroom. 
you can raise it up and down in the reel by going left and right. You can go in and back. So you do have that option. I don't think it has anything. It doesn't change uh, the yield of the fields. It's a cool little add-on. But, yeah. So right now, there you go. You are, we're making uh, strong swaths. Pretty cool. If we are to change that, that comes on and the spreader goes. I like the sound of it. It looks cool. Uh, you got two, uh, two exhausts up here. Two, you can see the two black smoke coming out of the engine. That's pretty cool. But yeah, neat little combine. Uh, I like it a lot. I really do. I think it has a lot of options. Pretty cool. And a good cutting whip. I mean, let's be honest. Uh, you know, 6.7 meters is not too shabby. And uh, if this map didn't have some issues that I think it does, um, and I was going to play this map, this is certainly a combine that I would um, uh, take with it, just based on this is in Slovenia. Uh, these combines were made in East Germany. So, hey, I would go along with that pretty well. So, yeah, so that pretty much takes care of the, uh, the uh, mod review on the Forstritt combine harvester pack the e516 harvester pack i hope you enjoyed it i hope you found it useful uh, maybe even a little entertaining but i hope it helped out you on that there's probably a few things that i missed i'm sure there are i tried to make sure that i covered everything and looked at all the different options and um, made sure everything worked the way it should so if you did give us a like we'd appreciate that if you haven't subscribed yet we would appreciate that as well but from Old Slovenia Farm, Farmer Man telling you, have yourself a great day and keep between the ditches. So long.